Ooh, that was kind of fun, huh? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Maddie B Gaming Channel. I am Maddie B. Today, we are continuing the full Mingo Football Manager Road to Glory series. And clearly, there's a couple of changes to the channel, to the series. It's going to be good. We're getting bigger and better than ever. If you haven't seen the last episode, it is crucial that you go back and watch that first. So go ahead and do that now. I'll wait. Back? Okay, perfect. So now, because you've already watched that, what I'm about to say isn't a spoiler. And if you haven't watched it, you should go back and watch it because what I'm about to say will be a spoiler. We won the league. It came down to the last day and it was awesome. So happy that we were able to do that pumped to see what we can do next we are now in the championship with a lot of really good teams we have a little bit of a budget a little bit of wage budget so hopefully we can get some deals done to strengthen the team get ready for the tougher competition and that is what we are going to do today before we get into that if you've been enjoying the series so far make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new to the family click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the series now let's get going. So yes, as I said, today's episode, we are going to be doing some transfers, hopefully bring in some new players to the squad, beef it up a little bit. We need to improve the quality of the team. They did great in League One, but now we're in the championship. It's going to get harder and harder. So we need to bring in some quality players. I've already brought one in on loan. We still have that deal with Minnesota United. If you remember, I talked about that in the last episode. Uh, we have an affiliate deal with Minnesota United. So they can send us players for free. We don't have to pay anything for the loan. We don't have to pay any of their wages. We have already done that with one player, and that is Noah Billingsley. Now, this guy is listed as a fullback on the right side, which is actually where I'm most comfortable with our fullback situation with both Terrell Lowe and Alexis Vallejo over there. But this guy is a stud, and if I go to his page, you can see he can play anywhere on the right side of the field. So very versatile, he's a good player. I think he's gonna do bits for us and we brought him in on loan and again, totally free. We're not paying his wages, we're not paying anything to have him here. So it's a bit of a no brainer, we might as well. He's currently on international duty with New Zealand. So he's at that level, if that gives you any idea. So good player, we're gonna give him some game time. I think he can do very well for us. Another one that we're bringing in on loan, Matthew Bentley, also from Minnesota United, this time from the Academy. He is 22 years old. He spent last season in the National Premier League, so that is two divisions below. There's League One is what we were in, League Two, and then the National Prem, and that's where he was. He scored 29 goals in 45 appearances. Pretty decent. So we are going to bring him on loan. He can play in that attacking midfield or striker position. So we're looking forward to having him again, totally free for us. We're going to accept that. And welcome to the club, Matthew Bentley. And we have successfully extended Petro Silva's contract for another year. This is an absolute no brainer. He destroyed the end of the season ever since he came in. He played 12 games, scored nine goals. He's a stud. He's our best striker and he's totally free. There's no fees, we're not paying any wages. We extended it another year, there's no downside. Happy that Petro Silva is gonna be staying with us. Oh, and the same for Vinicius Brenner. Same exact thing, we're extending the loan for another season, totally free. He did very well for us, loved having him at the club. Super happy that he's sticking around. Here is another free transfer that we're able to put through. This time it is Adrian Vera, a 23-year-old attacking midfielder. He is a bit more technical than the guys that we have currently, a little less physical, but to bring him in on a free, the salary isn't too huge. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this, bring in Adrian Vera. Welcome to the club. Oh, come on. The board, the president, Peter Wilt, has accepted an offer for Alex Cap, 350,000, which is a decent offer, but he's been so good for us. He was key to us winning the title last year and they didn't even give me a, an option. Well, hopefully that falls through because I would like to keep him. I want to keep him at the club. I think he is going to be good for us long-term. He can just stay there. We can kind of set it and forget it. So hopefully he doesn't leave, although it's looking like he will. All right, so we are in our first 
friendly game of the preseason. This is the team that we're going to go with. A lot of familiar names there. The only new one, Adrian Vera. This is the player that we just brought in on a free transfer. So he is our player. Petro Silva and Vinicius Brenner obviously are the two loanees that we were able to extend. Everybody else we know and love. On the bench, we have Matthew Bentley, who is a loan player from Minnesota United. We have Lozano and Sunderland, who are both trialists. Sunderland has actually came in through our youth intake, Jeremy Sunderland, and we want to get a good look at him because there's a very real possibility that Alex Cap is leaving us. So we have Barnsey in goal to start. And over the course of this preseason, we'll be taking a good look at Sunderland. So that's the team we're going to go with. For these preseason games, the friendlies, I'm just going to leave it on replays. We're not going to go through all the different highlights just to keep things moving a little bit. So here we go. Our first friendly against Jacksonville. All right. So apparently I said something wrong. Hopefully the next goal we get a replay, but we've already missed two. Jeff Michaud got a goal and Petro Silva picked up where he left off in last season. Here we go. Now we're on replays. Petro Silva gets another. Brenner with the assist. Oh, just beautiful. Plays him through. He's one on one and he puts it home. Tenorio gets a goal. And another one. Vera into Batista. Ariano puts it away. All right. Need to slow down those replays. Halftime, we are up five to nothing. Doing pretty well. All right. Dequa gets himself a goal. You know, last season he would have missed that, so that's good. I don't know how he would have, but he would have. He would have found a way. Connor Tobin scores a penalty. Coming into the close of the game, Albert Dequa gets another. Oh, man. He's a whole new player. Finish the game 8-0 over Jacksonville. We will take it. Good start to the preseason. Okay, so we actually do get a choice here. Looks like we can either accept or cancel the transfer for Alex Cap to Tampa Bay. The I would love to keep him around. The issue is he is looking forward to it and he wants the deal and he rejected an offer for a contract extension from us. So if I force him to stay, he might not like that. Nope, I can't do it. I can't let him go. Not to Tampa Bay. They're in the same league. They just got relegated from MLS, moved down to the championship. We just moved up into the championship. We can't just be giving away our starting goalkeeper to a direct competitor. It's not just giving him away. Obviously, they're offering money, but Alex Cap, I'm sorry, buddy. We got to keep you. If a team from outside our league comes in for you, I will let you go, but can't let you go to Tampa Bay. Sorry, buddy. All right, here's the team that we're going with in our next friendly against Kansas City. Dequa gets the start up top this time. Most of the other names we know. Cap is back in goal after we were able to reject the offer from Tampa Bay. And one new player, Geronimo Rodriguez on loan. This one we are actually paying for. Looks like he is a good attacking mid player that can really help us out. So we brought him in on loan. We're going to see how he does today. Playing Kansas City, they are an MLS team and looks like they're starting most of their starters. So who knows how this will go, but it's a friendly. We're looking for fitness. So Alan Polito has scored. Johnny Russell with the assist. I love Johnny Russell. I think he is a star player all right there's halftime one nil at the break not too bad they get another goal Polito again alan Polito again nope rutherford that time and they get another one this time it is Polito. It is fourth of the day third of the day oh we'll take one adrian vera beautiful goal there is the final whistle one to four is the final Alan Polito with a hat trick. That's okay. Like I said before, just looking for fitness here. All right. Another friendly here this time against Minnesota United as part of our affiliate deal. That's the team that we're going with. Vocek starting up top. All right. Kicking off now here. Jamal Cox gets a goal. Vocek out to Toyama with the cross and Cox puts it away. All right. And Julian Lozano. The youth free agent scores a penalty. Good for him. And Minnesota's gotten one back. Keegan Rosenberry, their right back, 
with the assist to Luis Silva. And there's the halftime whistle. All right, not too bad. Up two to one over an MLS side. Tomashakon has gotten one. Wow, just a solo effort. Okay. And Minnesota with another one. Pedro Franco. And looks like we get another one. Tenorio into Petro Silva. All right. Three to three, we will take the draw. Look at the dominance there. Unfortunately, they were very clinical. We had 22 shots, 13 on target. They had six shots, five on target, but they scored three goals. So did we. All right, in our next friendly against North Carolina, a couple new names on there. We are trying out Rodriguez out on the left wing. We need depth on the wings. That's what I've been looking for. Haven't been able to find any that's affordable and actually want to come. So we're going to try using some players that we already have that can fill those roles to see how they do. Here we go against North Carolina. Come on, the boys. Here we go. Christian Diaz with the goal. Dequa with the cross. And there's Diaz with the header. And North Carolina gets one back. Spalding with a powerful shot. And Lamar Batista gives us the lead back. All right. We go from nothing in the first half to three goals in the first 10 minutes of the second. And there's the final whistle. 2-2 draw. That's actually a pretty good test. They are in the same league. They are in the championship with us. So, so it was a decent test against some of the competition that we'll be having this season. All right, and we have brought in Damian German. I'm not sure if it's actually German or German or Hermann or something like that, but I'm calling him Damian German. He is coming on. He can play on either wing. He's not an absolute standout star player but he is good and he has decent potential and he's gonna fill in for us on either wing, both of which we're a little light on. So happy to bring him in. Welcome to the club, Damian German. Our last friendly of the preseason, we are playing West Virginia Chaos and this is the team that we're gonna be using. We know all of these players now, except for Damian German, who's coming in on the right side of midfield, looking to get some fitness here. Let's go. Jamal Kosh gets the first goal of the game. Vocek on the left wing, crosses in, and Cox with the header. All right. There's the halftime whistle, just the one goal in it so far. Jeff Michaud with a goal. Toyama on the left wing. Jeff from the edge of the box. God, he loves a long shot, doesn't he? And there's the final whistle. Ends up 2-0. Jamal Cox and Jeff Michaud with the goals. Tons of shots. Only two goals. Kind of disappointing, but that's kind of our thing. All right, very good news. Alex Cap has signed a two-year agreement to extend his time with Forward Madison FC. He will be here for at least the next two years. Love to see that. Happy to tie him to the club. He's done great things for us before and will continue to in the future. All right, and that is where we are going to wrap up today's episode. Did a bit of business this time. We extended the loans for Silva and Brenner. We brought in new loan signings in Geronimo Rodriguez, Matthew Bentley, Noah Billingsley, and then we made a couple of signings. Damian German to fill in on the wings. Adrian Vera, who is going to be a stellar attacking playmaker for us. And we also signed a youth prospect goalkeeper in Jeremy Sunderland, who looks like he could be the next Tim Howard. Probably a stretch, but still looks pretty decent. So did a bit of business, happy with where we're at. There's still time to do even more, which we might be able to do in the next episode. And speaking of the next episode, on your screen right now, you will see we are starting the next episode with our first game in the championship against Colorado Rapids, my former employers, the team that knocked us out of the US Open Cup last year. We have a bone to pick with them. We're going to take it out on them on the first day of the season. They've been relegated from MLS into the championship. We have been promoted. We're the ones with the form on our side, and we're going to prove it. If you're looking forward to that one and you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and click the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of this Full Mingo series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.